This is a death row inmate. And when you're on death row, you're given one last meal request. And today, we're gonna be eating some of the strangest last meal requests, starting with worms. Yeah! This doesn't bother you at all? <laughs> I've seen worse. He's here because he's gonna tell us exactly what being on death row is like. H.H. H. Holmes was a con artist who claimed to be possessed by Satan. He turned his house into a torture chamber and built a hotel to lure in tourists. He was later on caught and confessed to murdering 27 people. And before his execution, he was trapped in one of his own torture chambers, the Copper Bull. Now Tanner, are you ready to eat the worms? I'm not eating that. If you don't eat the food, you have to go through an extreme punishment. Well, how bad is the punishment? You're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. Now let's move on to the next meal. This next death row inmate is the reason parents check their kids Halloween candy. Ronald Clark O'Brien handed out cyanide lace pixie sticks to children on Halloween including his eight-year-old son to cash out on his life insurance policy. Before he was executed by lethal injection his last meal request was bacon wrapped filet mignon, baked potato with sour cream and chives, corn on the cob, deveined shrimp, asparagus with hollandaise sauce, french bread with butter, goat cheese, canned loaf, vanilla ice cream, and iced tea. Fun fact your last meal is actually scheduled two days before you're executed because you're not allowed to eat 48 hours prior to your execution so you don't poop yourself. Oh my god, I gotta stop doing videos like this if I'm trying to be in shape. Alex, stop it. You are in shape. I am? Yeah. Round is a shape. Wow. Cat, are you calling my son fat <laughs> <laughs> Our next death row inmate is the oldest to ever be put on death row. Viva Leroy Nash shot and killed a police officer and spent 70 years in prison. When he was executed at the age of 94, he was already deaf, blind, and in a wheelchair. For his last meal, he ate popcorn with ketchup, hamburger with cinnamon rolls as the buns, and hot dog with jelly. I thought I was gonna eat good food. You know what kind of food they serve in prison? What's prison like? You can't even eat at the same table with different races or even hang out with them. Oh my god. What happens if you do? Word gets out, you are gonna get jumped in the shower. Wait, 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 I, I have a question. Have you ever dropped the soap on purpose? This next death row inmate had one of the happiest last meals. David Wood was convicted of murdering six girls and buried their bodies in the desert. Before his execution, his last request was to have pizza and birthday cake with his family. And lucky for us, we don't have friends. We have family. Happy birthday to you. Oh! I was aiming for the cake. He's fine. Alex? Alex? Alex, you okay? All the kids. I know you do. Man.
note, because you didn't want to eat this octopus, you're gonna have to go through an extreme punishment later on in this video, so stay tuned. What, what punishment? Our next inmate was one of the smartest to ever be put on death row. Bell Gunness, known as Hell's Bell, married up to 15 men and killed them for their life insurance money. Woo! Girl power! Get that back, sis! Hell good! Cat, that's not a good thing because she was later on caught and burned alive at the stake. For her last meal, she requested money. And obviously, we're not gonna eat this, so we're gonna give it to you if you subscribe right now. On top of that, we're gonna be coming to your school for our next video. So if you guys want us to go to class with you, hang out with you, and be in a YouTube video, then all you have to do is subscribe. The next death row inmate had the craziest execution story. Alan Lee Davis murdered Nancy Dweller and her two daughters. He was sentenced to death by an electric chair, and on the day of his execution, it was botched, and he was still half alive. He became the last person to be put to death by an electric chair, and for his last meal, he had lobster tail with steak, half a pound of fried shrimp, french fries with cheese bread, and a root beer. Alright, let's dig in. Have you ever been in a fight in prison? <laughs> Every day. Survival log. I was once jumped by two guys with knives. The only reason I survived is Salma told me before. When the guards do nothing? <laughs> they just watch. You think you have what it takes to survive in prison? No. You think you hard? No. But I am. Our next death row inmate had one of the nastiest last meals. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military leader during the French Revolution who led several successful campaigns during the Revolutionary War. He was eventually charged with treason and exiled to an island where he was later executed by the Iron Maiden. Before he was executed, his last meal was fried crickets. Oh! I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that either. Then who's gonna eat it? I will! <laughs> But cat, if you don't want to go through a punishment, you actually have to eat a cricket. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, no! It actually kind of tastes like burnt chicken. You know, in some countries, fried cricket is a delicacy. We just know everything about food. Wow! Our next death row inmate had one of the funniest last meal requests. Dr. Death killed over 250 of his patients by injecting them with a lethal dose of painkiller. For his last meal, he ate... Pizza on pineapple. You mean pineapple on pizza? No, no, he actually ate this. So, I gotta eat this too? Yeah, try it, it's pretty good. It's not bad. You know, right before he was supposed to be executed, he actually hung himself. Now, what would your last request be? A lot of ice cream and video games. Our next death row inmate had one of the tastiest last meals. Gary Gilmore robbed and murdered two men at a gas station. And while getting rid of the murder weapon, he shot his hand by accident. He was caught because he left a trail of blood from the crime scene to his house, making him the dumbest inmate. For his last meal, he requested a 21-piece KFC chicken bucket, two large Domino's pizzas, ice cream with bananas, and a six-pack of Pepsi. All right, let's dig in. Man, this really is the tastiest last meal. And you know, fun fact, before he was executed by the firing squad, his last words were, see you in hell. Now, how's ice cream, Kat? Mmm, it's really good. Wasn't this ice cream supposed to come with bananas? Where's the banana? It's right here. Oh, God! Oh! This next death row inmate was eating at Five Guys before it became a restaurant. Ed Gein was a cannibal who inspired Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He was also known as the Butcher of Plainfield and would make shirts, masks, dresses, belts, and furniture out of human skin. Before he was executed by the electric chair, his last meal request was a human finger. Oh, so he was a cannibal. Well, I got a joke for you. What do cannibals use to freshen their breath? Men toes. <laughs> that was a good one. This next death row inmate requested a meal that was still alive. Yu Young Chu was a Korean self-confessed cannibal who killed and f***ed over 20 prostitutes. When Yu Young Chu was caught, he was tortured for months before they got a confession out of him. In most Asian countries, death row inmates don't know when their execution date is, so they wake up every day thinking it might be their last. Before his execution, he requested his last meal to be a female dog. And that's because he referred to the women he killed as bitch. Our next inmate wasn't too happy about what she had to eat for her last meal. Bonnie Parker from Bonnie and Clyde was one of the most famous females. She was known for her bank robberies and killed at least nine police officers. For her last meal, she ate bullets because she was ambushed and shot to death. The moral of the story is girls can do anything. Well, technically that's true, except she had to eat bullets.
Well, what would your last meal be, Alex? I would probably get ice cream from McDonald's because I'd still be alive since the ice cream machine is never working. last meal, he requested dirt. More specifically, Rakunda dirt. This request was denied and they gave him yogurt to eat instead. Why'd you take the dirt away? I'm not gonna let them put dirt in their mouth. Well, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Wait, ref? No, it's still ref. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, no! Our next last mail request comes from the real life Pennywise. John Wayne Gacy, also known as the Killer Clown, would perform at children's hospitals and birthday parties dressed as a clown. There, he would pick his victims and later go on to kill them. For his last meal, he requested 12 deep fried shrimp with french fries, a bucket of KFC chicken, and a pound of strawberries. All right, let's dig in. Wait, I want some food. What the oh my God. God. Bro, he eats more aggressive than me eating it. <laughs> you know, this is so good, but honestly, I don't think he deserved the last meal because he did kill 33 boys. Right before he was executed by lethal injection, his last words were, kiss my ass. <gasps> what was that? Oh, Sean, you could be back there. Our next inmate was actually the first woman serial killer to be put on death row. Eileen Wernos was a street prostitute who shot and killed seven of her male clients. For her last meal, what did she request? Just a cup of coffee. I would rather be put down than to drink this. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of being put down, what do you think you would go on death row for? I would go on death row for spending fake money. You spent fake money? Well, I didn't know. Fake money years and Joe doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this next death row inmate had the smallest last meal request. Victor Harry Figer killed a doctor and stole his car. And for his last meal, he requested... $10,000 and we're also going to be giving away $10,000 to someone random who subscribes within the next seven days So subscribe subscribe <laughs> Our next death row inmate wasn't too happy about what happened to his last meal Thomas J Grosso strangled an 87 year old woman with her own Christmas tree lights on Christmas Eve Just to steal $12 in cash for his last meal He ate two dozen clams two double cheeseburgers from Burger King a half rack of barbecue spare ribs two strawberry milkshakes a pumpkin pie with whipped cream 
strawberries, and most importantly, a can of SpaghettiOs. Mmm, wow. It's dry as but... <laughs> <laughs> Now, the reason why he wasn't too happy about his last meal is because instead of giving him SpaghettiOs, they gave him spaghetti instead. His last words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Who's gonna eat the clams? I, I, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I mean, look at the way it busts up open like oh! But Sean, if you don't eat the clams, then you're gonna have to go through punishment instead. What, what, what punishment? Well, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that at the end because it's gonna be an extreme punishment. And Sean, we're not going easy on you. I like it hard. <laughs> Our next death row inmate is probably the scariest one on the list. I mean, look at him. But what he ate for his last meal was even scarier. Jeremy Morris murdered two nuns, and for his last meal, he requested the Holy Bible. His request was accepted because they thought he was trying to repent. However, he just started tearing pages out of the Bible and eating them like potato chips. Obviously, we're not gonna eat the Bible, but he was executed by the electric chair. Not a lot of people know this, but before you're put on the electric chair, they actually shave your head and then the rest of the hair on your body. You mean even this? If they ain't touching the chest hair, that would be my last request. <laughs> the next death row inmate is actually someone you guys know very well. Bubba was convicted of kidnapping Sean three times. For his last meal, he actually escaped to look for it. Escape? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bubba was you, Sean. <laughs> yeah. The next inmate's last meal request was so bizarre that the state of Texas no longer serves last meal requests. What did Lawrence Russell Brewer do? He was a sheriff who was also part of the KKK. What was his last meal? Two chicken fried steaks, cheese omelet with ground beef, a big bowl of fried okra with ketchup, triple meat bacon cheeseburger, three fajitas, one pound of barbecue and a half loaf of white bread, a pizza meat lover special, one pint of homemade vanilla ice cream, one slab of peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and three root beers. And what he actually did with that food? was not eat it because he claimed he wasn't hungry. And that caused Texas to remove the last meal request. This is about to turn into a 100,000 calorie challenge. I haven't eaten all day. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, 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 cat, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What is this? This steak's a little dry. You're saying my ribs are dry? <laughs> yeah, I talk about my weights and now. <laughs> the next death row inmate was known as the Vampire. Peter Curtin was given the nickname The Vampire because he would drink the blood of his victims. His last meal request was blood. But this request was denied, so he then requested a bottle of red wine instead because it closely resembled blood. Peter Curtin was executed by a guillotine in 1931. Another reason he requested wine is so he could get drunk before his execution. Now how's the wine? I'd request this too. <laughs> <laughs> the next inmate is actually the most sus to ever be put on death row. He was convicted of fighting off 15 police officers while masturbating. What do you want for your final meal? Pizza. What? Pizza? A piece of that ass. No! No! <laughs> Our next inmate had one of the most heartwarming last meal requests. Philip Workman robbed a Wendy's, then shot and killed a police officer while making his escape. For his last meal, he requested that a large vegetarian pizza be given to a random homeless person. His request was denied, and because of that, we're gonna be giving this large vegetarian pizza to a homeless person. Have you guys heard the phrase, if looks could kill? Well, this next death row inmate used his good looks to lure women and kill them. Ted Bundy kidnapped and over 30 girls. He was caught once, but escaped and continued his murders until he was finally caught again. He was given three death penalties in just two trials. For his last meal, he ate... Where's the food? He didn't request anything. I was looking forward to eating. Of course you were. Oh, oh my god. god. Cat. The next inmate actually requested money as his last meal. Uh, $2,400 to be exact for his 24th birthday. It's actually Mark's birthday, guys, so. Mark? Really? Yeah. It's real? <laughs> yeah. Yo, can you verify? <laughs> yeah, guys, that's real. <laughs> we would probably go to jail for not posting twice a week anymore, 